Hey guys, Jordan here in this video, I'm gonna be talking about backing up your real estate photography business. So let's get into it. So if you love real estate photography, and you're just experiencing my channel make sure to subscribe because that's that's what i talk about pretty much on a daily basis uh, i did make a video that is titled backing up your photography business and today our mall uh made a comment so thank you so much for your comment slash question he says how long do you keep your photos in what situations would you need them once the house has sold i'm fairly new to real estate photography and and i kind of assume once the house sold i didn't need the pictures anymore but it sounds like I'm missing something. Thanks. You know, I think there's value in, in holding your real estate uh, photos. We we have an archive of all of our finished photos from the beginning of time. And there are some reasons for that. You know, we do um, resell some photos. Sometimes, um, you know, maybe a listing changes hands and somebody likes our photos. Maybe they don't want to re-set up a whole shoot. So we sell them to them. We also have a good uh, archive of all the community photos in our area so that we don't necessarily have to shoot them every single time if somebody orders community photos. We already have a good um, archive of there. Obviously, you want to uh, send some recent photos. Obviously, you don't want five-year-old community photos and the community looks completely different, but we do uh, a lot and uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised, you know, just keeping them and there have been times where we it's been years and then a customer will come back hey um do you still have those photos or maybe the link stopped working or whatnot and we just keep an archive right i think you know the worst thing to do is to not have your archive not have an archive of the photos that you've shot and then somebody comes in and they they want them and then you can't provide them even if after the property is sold but it's pretty uh you know few and far between in my opinion there's not too many uh people coming back but you know i just think it's a good habit just to have everything uh backed up and uh just your work documented over time right and i think hard drives and stuff like that are very cheap these days or free cloud um backup so there's really not a reason to not do it or just to say all right here's your photos now on the side of like your raw images um, coming out of your camera we typically don't re retain those forever we just keep our finished photos which are very small typically our deliverable is is pretty small so it doesn't take up much uh, memory at all so anyways thank you so much for your question hopefully you got value out of that if you did hit the like button and consider subscribing we'll see you guys on the next one